So I can't show you the can't show you the inside of the catalogue, but this is released on the 4th of January. And there's so many good things in here. But the picture on the front is the bundle that I will be using today. And the DSP unfortunately isn't available to us yet. But um, it will be soon. I just need to be patient. Okay. And I'll also, I had a couple of my uh, local demonstrators round last night. It's the first time we've got together in four and a half months because of lockdowns. And we had dinner and then we had a play around with the suite to help me. So um, here we go. So we have a piece of pool party cardstock. Um, it measures, uh, oh, sorry, 14.8 by 21 scored at 10 and a half. The white piece is layered on so it's half a centimetre smaller. And we're going to start with this bit. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a seam for what's going to happen. This is pool party and these are our brushes. So I'm going to slowly work some ink in. And what I do is I take from the sides of my ink pad because most of the stamping happens in the middle. So there's always plenty of ink on the sides. So that's how I say to people to take the ink. There is a temptation to take it from the middle and then you get no ink. So as you can see, I'm creating a skyline. So I want a bit of cloud developing. I don't want it too dark, but what I would like is a bit more dark at the top. So I'm just concentrating on that bit. And you can see I'm just holding this at the end and letting it do its thing. I'm not pushing hard at the end here. Um, I'm just letting it gently do its thing. If you push hard, you get more marks. And also it's harder to control the dark, darkening. So by doing it this way, you do need to be a bit more patient. But also you can clean off your brushes. There we go. So that's that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some embossing of clouds in white embossing powder. So I'm going to apologise now for the noisy heat gun that will happen. I take my um, embossing buddy. Now they Stamping Up doesn't sell these at the moment. They will probably bring them back. But I think you can get them from most um, craft stores. I'm taking my Versamark, which is a ink, which is very sticky. And I'm sure you probably can't see this. So I've got this big cloud and this little cloud. And I bet you're all saying, oh, I want to see the stamp sets. I will let you see them soon. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of photocopy paper. And I'm just going to pour my white embossing powder on top. Move it around and get those little clouds. Give it a tap. So obviously here I've smudged, but that's okay. Clouds aren't perfect. Put my lid on that. Now I'm going to get my heat gun and warm it up away from the camera. And hopefully it's going to reach. I'm not sure if it's going to reach. <coughs> yes, it's going to reach just. So, here's for the magic. So I tend to hold it quite still, quite close. And what I might do is pick it up for you to see. I don't know if you can see it. It does take a little while for the heat gun to warm up. But once it warms up, you will see it turn shiny. There we go. I don't think I smudged this one, but it just looks a bit more cloudy. So you can see the 
shiny now. I'm just checking. I can see that shiny. There we go. Right. Oh, so there we go. Shiny look. And then the copy paper. I'm just going to fold it for now. But I've got embossing powder everywhere. I don't know how I do it, but I've managed to get it everywhere. Okay, just clean this bit. So that's our base ready. So let's show you the stamp sets that come in this bundle because then you'll understand what we're doing. So we have tulip fields and here you've got tulips, a tree, a windmill, the clouds that I've just used and the banner down the sides. The wonderful thing about this set is that it comes with these dies. So this die cuts out this one, the tree cuts out, there's fencing, there's also a die that cuts out these bushes and then there's two dies that cuts out, cut out the clouds. Then this one is the one that I'm featuring today. And it cuts this. And I'm just going to show you that in a wee while when we put it together. So there's also a little bicycle in this, which is so cute. And then these are tulip heads, which are also really cute. So that's the first bundle, but the sweet, but wait, there's more. The sweet um, actually comes with two bundles. So you notice on this one, there's no sentiment. So the sentiments are on here. So you've got Mother's Day, birthdays, um, just thinking of you today, which is a sentiment I'm going to use today. The card I did yesterday, I use this sentiment, let today be the start of something new. And in this bundle, you get to make the tulips. So you can stamp them and die cut them, or you can... Um, cut them out and then put the layers on. And I haven't done this yet, but I did do it with the daffodils. There's another suite that are daffodils. So I'm assuming that the tulips are very similar, that you cut out bases and then you cut out the detail and then you make things with that. So I'm really looking forward to doing that, but I wanted to play with the windmills first. So I've actually used this one for my card today, which is a row of tulips which actually come out like this. And I've left them ready to do on the card. So beautiful bundle, beautiful suite because you get the two and they will be available from January the 4th. But for Dem if you are a demonstrator or you want to join my team, um, you can get the opportunity to buy these now. So the next thing I'm going to do is just prepare my sentiment, which I've used from the flowering tulips. Uh, hopefully this comes out first time I've not used, look at that, not used it before, perfect. And this colour is evening evergreen because the sweet comes with ribbon and that's Evening Evergreen Gingham. So I'm going to use that in a minute. And I'm using a layering punch to cut out the sentiment. So I'm going to use the curly side. I'm just realising I'm working off camera. I've just moved. There we go. So this uh, layering die is available in our annual catalogue and can be purchased now. Right, so I think my bits are ready. So let's talk about this windmill. So there's three dies that you use and it moves. So what I've done is I've used a brad from Art Brads. So these are called round and square brads. So they're small and large. But what I did to give this a bit more opportunity to move is I've made some washers now you all know what washers are. And I've used a small, very small circle punch. And then I've put, um, used a hole punch 
to punch through the center. And what I've done is I've put the brad, then I've put the blades, then I've put a washer. And so it gives you a bit more movement and then tied it at the back, but I've done it quite loosely. So this is a very interactive CAD. So that's going to go on the CAD. So I'm not going to put this on the CAD yet because I need to layer these. So I've done, um, I want to say petal pink, but I'm not sure. So what I've done is I've used three different colours. So this is Daffodil Delight. Because you know when it's tulips from Amsterdam, they're layered. Have you, I think this is Blushing Bride, Daffodil Delight and Poppy Parade. And I've laid them. So I've cut them out, but I've not actually cut anything. Because, you know, decisions now to be made. Oh, there you go. Which layer you need up front. And what I tend to do is I tend to just cut a bit longer than I need. I then put them all together. And that seems to have worked out perfectly. And then stick them to the card and then turn it over and cut. But what I want to do is use my um, oh, hole. Oh, come oh, here we go. My quick pierce, paper piercing tool and just poke out some of these before I glue them. I need to breathe when I'm doing live. I don't know about any of you, but I get really nervous. And so I start talking too, way too fast and then rushing. So I'm just going to slow it down because I allow myself half an hour. And yesterday I rushed because I was nervous and I only did 19 minutes. Oh, thank you, Heather. Super cool. That's so cool. There we go. Right. So what I'm thinking is I'll take my tape runner and I'm going to stick all these together. I don't know, this is a fluke because I just got three pieces of scrap out of my scrap box and they've all come out the right lengths to fit. There we go. So there, and we'll stick that on in the middle. Or maybe shall we stick it to the end and not waste so much? I could have this for another card, maybe do that. So I'm going to stick that down here. And then what I want to do is also make sure that I only use one piece of tape at the bottom. So if, when I want to put the windmill on, I can poke it behind. Do you know what? I think that's not quite... Oh no. Embossing powder on table. So turn your card over and just snip up the sides. There we go. So I can use that on another card somewhere, maybe. So we've got that. And I seem to... Oh, you're right. There's that. So what I'm going to do now is put my windmill on a few dimensionals because I want that the blades to move so I'm going to put that bang in the center there Ooh. there we go and it still moves there we go I might actually glue those um, that layer down now so it doesn't catch on the maybe just turn the blades a bit because they're always a bit curved there we go how's that right now I'm going to put some dimensionals on my sentiment like so and then I'm going to take some of the I want the ribbon. So for those of you that are demonstrators, I've actually cased 
we call case the catalog so it doesn't mean copy it means copying um, but in a way that's allowed and what it does is um, I've used slightly different colors I think than the catalog and if you are a demonstrator there's also the recipes for these are available at the moment for you to have a look at although I don't think this one is in the recipes And if you would like to think about being a demonstrator, just give me a message and I'll come, come back to you. There's a great offer happening in the new year. There we go. So now I'm actually thinking I'm going to put it on dimensionals to go on the base. Give it some more height. Put one in the middle. Okay. So I take my pool party and I'm going to pop this up on here. So I took my innate and asthma inhaler earlier. I think the dust and cleaning the garage had got to me and I'm a bit shaky. But... And voila, the most amazing card ever. Who's not going to enjoy that? And if you put the, the blades there, it'll go in a normal postcard. And oh, I'm thinking bling. Mm. Oh, we've got some new bling. Just remembered. I've got to find it now. There you go. Oh, yes. These are the iridescent rhinestones available soon. <laughs> oh, yes. Blackberry Bliss. Oh, yes. That would be nice. Oh, inside, yep, inside of the card. That's a good idea. So I'll take my take pick tool and I'm going to actually go use these smaller ones. Oh, everything looks better with bling. There we go. How about that? Yes, and I think maybe on the inside there. Cool. Awesome. So that's the card that I wanted to make online. I'm just going to... God, there's embossing stuff everywhere. So the card I made last night was this one with my two of my team. And we had... Um, so I said to them, I said, I'm doing a live tomorrow and I've chosen this set to do. Can they help me out? Let's try it. So in this one, we've used... So uh, this top piece is this, and then on with using a Stamparatus, because um, just in case the colours didn't come out, we've then used this one to do these colours. And I, we've used Soft Saffron, hey, Highland Heather, uh, Poppy Parade, uh, Blushing Bride, I think, and uh, Pumpkin Pie. Um, this is the pool party for the, the top, Pear Pizzazz garden no granny apple green and then uh soft suede is this windmill so we've stamped the windmill we've stamped the tree we've used the dies to cut out the windmill and the tree and we've used the dies to cut the clouds um, there's fencing here that looks amazing and then on this one we've used um the uh, this was all made from the tulip fields. The sentiment then has come from the flowering tulips. Um, these tulips here have come from the dyes for this one. So what an amazing bundle. I can't show you the paper, unfortunately, because it's not here. Um, but it will be here for the launch of the catalogue. So what do you think? I'm, I'm just, I wasn't going to buy them. And I thought, oh, I will. And I'm so pleased I did because there are so many possibilities for this card. And um, you could also put some uh, Versamark on the blades of this one and make them shiny so that it gives it more dimension. So I have shown you what I've done and I it's Saturday tomorrow, so I won't be live, but I will be live Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week at 2pm 
showing you more. And I think what I'm going to do is the Dahlia Days sneak peek. So if you want to um, have a look at this one and see what it does, um, I will be here on Monday at 2 p.m. And I um, probably will do a one sheet wonder perhaps again. And um, yeah, let's make some more cards. So thanks for coming in. Thanks, Heather, for um, coming. Thanks, Liz, for coming. There's someone else on, but I'm not sure who that might be. But thank you all for coming. Please share my um, live with um, people that, that you know. And um, please, um, thank you so much for commenting. It does really help. And um, I will see you guys Monday. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.